Uh, this is Jackson Dean, and welcome to another episode of the Business and Travel Podcast. In this episode, I'm going to go through uh, a big strategy on Instagram marketing, uh, and we're going to talk about hashtags. We just completed a full one-day workshop on the Gold Coast with a bunch of our members in our community. We had about 40 businesses along the uh, business owners and their marketing teams, and we, we literally just talked about Instagram marketing the whole day. And uh, one of the, the big sessions that a lot of our uh, members get a lot of back and forth and, and questions answered on is, is hashtags. And I thought I'd just go through just some of the basics and, and some of the brief overview of how you use hashtags correctly on Instagram. You know, I've been on Instagram for over six years and teaching uh, Instagram marketing for the last couple of years. And it, it's really just one of those topics that a lot of people want a lot of clarification on. So uh, I'll do my best in this episode just to go through a few points that will help you on your journey with Instagram marketing and help you with your marketing efforts. And a big way that we can do that is through hashtags. So let's uh, start things off by just the amount of hashtags that you should be using on each post. Big question that I get a lot. The answer is 30 hashtags. Now, why is that? Well, if we look into what a hashtag really is, a hashtag is really just a synonym for categories, right? So if we treat hashtags as categories, essentially what you can do on Instagram is rank your content in 30 different hashtags or 30 different categories on Instagram. So because you're allowed to use 30, my advice is to use all 30. For every different hashtag you use, you are now uh, ranking your content in another category on Instagram. And if you can use 30, well, we should use all 30 because it's free attention, it's free engagement, it's just free results uh, just for the sake of adding some hashtags. So instead of, you know, let's say you use 20 hashtags, well, you're going to have your content ranked in 20 different categories on Instagram, whereas if you use 30, you're going to have your content ranked in, in 30 different categories. So the more the better, the more the merrier, and I would suggest using 30. Now, the uh, reason a lot of people don't like to use hashtags is they can feel like it comes off a little spammy. Well, at the end of the day, hashtags is really the ecosystem in which Instagram was built. All of the users on Instagram are quite used to seeing hashtags. You know, you're not looking spammy. You're really just playing by the rules uh, as according to Instagram as Instagram really wants you to use hashtags because it better categorizes your content and get better categorizes your profile. So Instagram's in the business of providing their users with the best experience. And they do this by showcasing your content in those specific hashtags. The most important thing about using hashtags is making sure that they are relevant. No different to the way that we search for things on Google. If we search for a specific thing that we're looking for on Google and something else comes up as completely random, we're probably not going to click on that. We're not interested in it and it's really not helpful. So the biggest advice is just to find relevant hashtags, which we'll get to in a sec on, on, on how you can actually find relevant hashtags quite easily for your business. So when we deliver this content to Instagram, we want to rank it in these 30 different uh, sections. And there's two different ways that you can post your hashtags on Instagram. The first way is to post it in your caption. Now, when you post your hashtags in the caption, obviously you can't hide those hashtags. So a lot of people opt for the second option, which is to post your hashtags in the first comment straight after you have posted your content on Instagram. Now, the advice that I have for that is to be very careful. You want to make sure that you post your hashtags in that first comment within the first minute or two, no longer than, than say, two minutes. As soon as you wait, say, 10 or 15 minutes to post your hashtags in that comment, well, you've already missed out on the most crucial moment of engagement, which is where your post will be ranked in the most recent section of Instagram for that particular hashtag. So you'll already be off the page when it comes to 10 to 15 minutes later for most of your hashtags. So make sure if you are going to post in the first comment that you do it within the first two minutes. 
that's vitally important if you're going to use that as your strategy. And what that does is, is basically hides those hashtags in the comments. The only people that are going to see those hashtags are people that click on view more comments or are looking to leave a comment. And in most cases, that is really not going to affect their uh, judgment call on whether or not they're going to leave a comment or not. Most people are going to leave a comment if it's good content. So that's a, a good way to start when it goes to, uh, you know, how to actually post your hashtags. From there, I would uh, suggest basically how to find your hashtags is a, is a pretty important subject that a lot of our members bring up and, and need clarification on. So I have a really good strategy for every business uh, finding what hashtags they should be using. Because you can use 30 hashtags total, what you want to do is separate your content into different potential uh, categories that your content ranks for. So what you can do is create a template for your hashtags. And this is actually going to save you a lot of time as well. So saving time is obviously in all of our best interests. So what I would suggest is create a template of 25 hashtags and have that sitting in the notes section of your phone. If you do that, you can copy and paste those templated 25 hashtags across and the last final five hashtags, I'll get to in a minute as to what you should be doing there. But to come up with these initial 25 hashtags, what I would suggest is separating your business into five core categories that you would like to rank your content for on Instagram. So say you're a local business. What you're going to do is create five hashtags around local hashtags. So I'll use an example. I'm here in Australia. So what you could do is if you're looking to just target an Australian audience, you could rank your uh, first five hashtags for Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth. Those are five city-based hashtags or location-based hashtags. From there, what you can do uh, if you're a very, very local business is rank your content in uh, both the location of the city and also suburbs within the city. So for example, I'm from the Gold Coast. I could rank my content in the Gold Coast, Rabina, Surface Paradise, Broadbeach, Cool and Gatta, et cetera, et cetera. So this is where my hashtags are actually going to rank my content in those local based hashtags. Another piece of advice is uh, to rank your content for niche-specific hashtags. So I was just talking to a client today that uh, is a florist, for example. So they want to rank their content for, you know, people that are looking for uh, flowers and so forth. So, you know, to start that sort of uh, search query, you would go flower, flowers, florist, floristry, and florists. And that's just a, a good place to start. So find five niche-related hashtags there. You could also then concentrate on demographics within your business. You could concentrate on what type of content you actually post as well. But the main concept here is to just come up with 25 hashtags that might sound like a lot, but the way that you can actually, you know, easily brainstorm those hashtags by separating them into five different chunks or, or five different categories and then coming up with that 25 templated hashtag from there. Once you've got those 25 hashtags that really categorize the content that you post correctly, your business correctly and so forth, you can save that to your notes section and copy and paste that across to each one of uh, your, your content posts in the future. What I would suggest to do from there is to come up with five content-related hashtags to add into those 25 to give you a total of 30 hashtags to post. So say that the, the post itself is about a sunset. Well, then you could add in five different hashtags in regards to sunsets. So it could be sunset, sunset photography, sun, uh, you know, sunset gram. There's lots of different sunset hashtags out there. So just do your research and, and add those in to give you a total of 30 hashtags. So that's basically the process of what hashtags you should be uh, looking to, to include and how you should include them. My final point is a big one for getting attention and engagement on your brand. The secret to getting the, the optimal amount of attention through hashtags is to target ones that you can actually rank for. The end goal of hashtags is to rank in the top nine posts for that particular hashtag. 
And you can do this by targeting hashtags that your particular profile might actually stand a chance of actually ranking for. And my best suggestion, without actually looking at your particular profile, if you want us to actually look at your profile, you can do that. You can you can literally just submit your information on our website, and we can do a bit of an audit on your account, give you some free advice on to what hashtags to use and so forth. So if you're listening to this and you'd like some help on that, feel free to just uh, go on the website and, and type in the free form on our contact us section. And you know, if you want to do this yourself. The best way is to look at the search volumes between 500,000 and a million. The reason I say this number or this, this, this bracket is because between the search volume of 500,000 to a million, uh, you're going to have a good chance as a small business or a small account to actually rank your content in the top nine posts if it gets a little bit of engagement. At that level as well, you'll also be stuck on the most recent feed a little bit longer. You can expect to stay there for about an hour, which gives you about an hour to be seen by those different audiences with inside those different hashtags. So aim for hashtags between about 500,000 to a million if you're a small account. If you're a big account listening to this, you're a big influencer, well then you can obviously aim to rank for higher searches on higher hashtags. So more broad-based hashtags, for example, the word Australia is going to have many tens of millions of people looking at that compared to, say, Brisbane, compared to, say, Surface Paradise, which is more local. So I do a little bit of research on the search volume that each hashtag has. When you search a hashtag, it'll tell you how many people are posting on that particular hashtag. And my suggestion is to aim between that sort of 500,000 to a million, unless you're already at quite a big account. So that really rounds off my main points for hashtags and and some uh, really good quality free advice I got for you guys if you are taking the time to to listen to this podcast. I do certainly appreciate it and I I really do want to provide that value in return. So I'm going to be doing a few more of these episodes on Instagram marketing since we have uh, gotten through our next level series with the Tel Aviv trip that we did uh, with the Australian government and, and all the different guests that we got to interview over in Israel. So now that we've finished that series, I'm going to get into some more of my own teaching that comes from my experiences and, and, and what I teach around Australia now, specifically to do of Instagram marketing. So I hope that's a good uh, sort of first episode for, for Instagram marketing uh, strategies and tactics that, that'll help you out. If you uh, have found this helpful, uh, please let us know. Uh, shoot me a message on Instagram, which is at Jackson Dean one. Uh, again, that is at Jackson Dean one. And, uh, let us know what you think. Again, this podcast itself is, is brought to you, sponsored by, uh, social growth media. Wouldn't be possible without the, uh, the, the company that I run and, and really giving us the, you know, the money to, uh, to fund this podcast and, and get it out to you guys for free. So if you're interested in, in getting your marketing efforts taken to that next level, especially on Instagram, go check out our free resources. They are free and they are very, very helpful, just like the information that I, I put out in this podcast. I've got a seven Instagram marketing tips guide for businesses in 2018 on the website. I've got a hashtag guide there as well that would just really round off what you've listened to uh, in this particular episode. All of it's free. You can head over to www.socialgrowthmedia.com forward slash resources. You can also find those same resources on my personal website, jacksondean.com.au. And uh, again, guys, it's all free. It's all helpful. And um, if it helps you, please let us know. It gives us a good motivation to keep providing this high quality content for you. And I uh, really want to see you guys grow. So uh, last but not least, guys, you know, execution is everything. So make sure you go out there and execute on this advice. Let us know how you go with it. Let us know if you see an impact in your results. I'm more than sure that you will. It's a, a great, great hashtag strategy, the way that we do it at Social Growth Media. And I will look forward to uh, delivering you some really good content in the next episode. Have a great day, guys, and uh, see you in the next episode.